We're Slow Club. And you're watching Band Up TV. TV and I'm at Latitude Festival today with Charles and Rebecca from Slow Club. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello, good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So you guys have literally just finished opening up the main stage today. How was it for you? It was really cool. It, it was so weird. Feeling. We've never seen that many people in one place. It was amazing. We didn't think anyone would be there. So So is that like your biggest crowd so far? Or? It might be. Yeah. Amazing. Might be. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, you also played Latitude in 2012 as well, as well though. Was that a much smaller stage or? We played the, the Woods stage. It was amazing actually. That was a really wicked show. I like, played just after Perfume Genius, so we, we watched the show and it was incredible. I think we always have a really nice time at this festival actually. What do you think makes Latitude stand out for you guys? I don't know, it's one of the first ones we, we came before when our band had just started when we were like. 17 or something, we came here for fun right. and actually went to a festival. It's like right, the last okay. festival I actually went to. And um, so it's got a really special place in like our heart. And I just love this, the, how it's set up, what their kind of ethos is. And Fair enough. Their band, the, the acts they choose. I, I think it's the best festival I've ever been. Cool. Is there a lot of acts today and the rest of the weekend that you guys are looking forward to seeing or are you going to try and catch? I think we're going to try and see Khalees in about four. We've got, We've got to go. We've got, okay. We've got another one tomorrow. It's Boo! Where are you guys tomorrow? Truck festival. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah nice. West, you see, it's fine. Yeah. Ideally, we would stay all weekend and have a lovely time. Fair enough. When does your tour end? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> is it like it just a continual? It's never going to stop. I think we kind of yeah, finished the tour yesterday. Now we're just right, okay. Now it's just the festivals. Yeah. So. Cool. Okay. So. Big news, you've had your third album come out this year now, Complete Surrender. How has that been going? What's the reaction been like? It seems to have been really good. Yeah, I mean, it came out on Monday, so um, it's exciting to get it out. Like, I feel we've, kind of, like, we've known about the songs for such a long time. It's nice right. for people to kind of be able to hear them. Right, OK. Come to the shows and stuff. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. Awesome, awesome. OK, can you tell us a bit about what inspired the record, the sound, the lyrics, all of that kind of stuff? Um, I think we do. We realised, because we toured the, our second album so much, we realised what works live, what doesn't work live, what would be... In this climate now, you have to make our album and be prepared to tour it for two years at least. Right. So I think that was like a big thing behind it. It was like, we want to we wanna sing melodies, we enjoy singing, we want to make, you know, play guitar, we want to play. And, and we kind of simplified it, but also made it like as beautiful as we could and made it a little bit more expensive and, and kind of fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a little it bit was more, more polished. Yeah, because I, I, we're getting on, you know. It's like there's no time for scrappy experimental. No offence, but you do not look like you're getting on <laughs> at all. Here, but so, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it was a, it was a really amazing experience making it, and well, now it's so much fun like playing it. There's people that know the words already. It's right, incredible. okay. It's so cool. Nice, that's awesome, man. Okay, so what's on the agenda for the rest of the year? Once the festival season finishes and dries up, what is it that you guys are going to be looking to do next? We've got a tour booked in uh, America, we're doing like the East Coast, West Coast. It's amazing. In September and then Europe and Europe. back in the UK in October, November, so it's just all go. Amazing, but it must be so much fun for you guys, right? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, yeah, it's wicked. Okay, so before we wrap up, I'd like to know if you guys could create your dream festival mm -hmm. and whether they're dead living or whatever, the top three acts to headline your main stage, who would they be? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, Bob Dylan from about Dylan. 1964. Only from 1964 era? Yeah, I, okay. I, just have, like, I love the band stuff, but I'd have it with a guitar, like, okay. kind of like uh, auditorium style. And the May Sheet, yes. which is like our favourite okay. band of all time. All right, fair enough. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a look Google at that, that then. I will, I will definitely <laughs> have a look at that. Um, last thing, can you give any top tips for aspiring artists, because there are now millions of them, <laughs> as to how you think they should go about trying to make it in this particular climate of the music industry? Just don't read reviews, just work hard. Work really hard, play, play as much as you can, get really good at all your bits and bobs, like, we're still only just getting good at it. And, it's, and, and we just toured a lot, and we were really lucky, I think. Um, 
play as much as possible. Yeah. Don't be an arsehole. <laughs> I don't think expect anything, actually. It's really good fun. Don't expect anything. We, we still, like, share rooms. <laughs> we still tour in a car sometimes. It's like, don't... It's not all champagne and oysters, but maybe it will be, and that's the lovely thing about it. Fair enough. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for chatting to Band Up. It's been lovely to meet you. Really nice to meet you.